And so that's how I came to sort of see it through the financial line to see that you know, people talk about oh urbanism and it's such a it's better for quality of life or it's more equitable or better for the climate or all these other reasons you know and you know oh well we need to shift to active transportation or transit and you know and and unfortunately the conversation out there is about sort of this um you know preference you know as, mm. oh well i you know well you maybe you prefer to ride a bike but i prefer to drive my car or maybe you prefer to live in in, in a you know a central neighborhood but i prefer a big yard or whatever and 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 that's fine and you're not going to get anywhere that way right with pref- just preferences but the reality is when you attach costs to your choices your preferences your preferences change right and so to me it was really about yeah. like examining the costs of the choices that are presented to us and and seeing that like it's not about whether we prefer to have more people biking or prefer to have more people on transit it's actually a financial necessity yep and when it's presented that way to me it's it's, it's hard to argue with right like, yeah. it's like if you go to a restaurant there's no prices on the menu yeah of course you want the lobster yeah. you know but like you start to put the prices on there and you're like you know what i'm gonna have the hot dog <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're going to be very happy with your hot dog. You're going to be like, yeah, this is, man, it's so delicious. Um, you know, same reason we don't all live in a mansion because there's a price attached to that to that choice, right? And we're yeah. like, well, I guess I can't afford the mansion. I'm going to live in what I can I can afford, right? And so, yeah, so to me, I came to, came at it exactly from this financial perspective and looking at what the costs of, of certain choices and certain ways of building a city and, and, and starting to come to understand that cities that work financially are exactly kind of the urbanist dream right with some caveats because we talk you know i i, I do get a, some flack from the urbanists when i when i try to explain why like density isn't like the metric we need to be using right that it's it's a lot more nuanced than that and that there's a lot more more to it than just that because you can have density that isn't actually productive and that like when urbanists look at it and like Oh yeah, but you know, not that kind of density. I'm like, yeah, exactly, not that kind of density. So we need to be more precise. Yeah, and with that uh, type of um, uh, not that type of density, you're sort of thinking of the tower that's just yeah. surrounded by surface parking. Yeah, exactly. Like that kind of like that's dense, man. You know, or like you know, 12, 12 story apartments, but surrounded by parking and everything is still all car dependent. Like most urbanists will look at it and be like, "Oh yeah, but that's not what I meant." But it's like, yeah, but when you say density, like that's dense. Right? That meets. That's a checkbox. The developers are looking at you like, but you asked for density. Here it is. But we know that we instinctively know that's not what we're looking for. And when we do the math behind it, we're like, yeah, this doesn't pencil because. It still requires so much infrastructure that doesn't really help. You'd be better off like of a twelve-story building with like six-story buildings that take up all the space that is walkable and and mixed use, right? But so so yeah, I don't feel that like saying density is the answer is 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 uh, is a productive conversation. A because it's kind of a it's like a politically charged word at this point. Like people mm. just have a their own sense of what it means. Um, to me, it's just not precise enough. It doesn't yeah. Exactly. But we can say like it's like saying like a, squ- a square is a rectangle, but a rectangle isn't necessarily yeah. a square. And if we need a square, but we're just saying we need a rectangle, um, you know, there's a, a strong chance that we're not going to get what we're looking for. Yeah. Right? Especially yeah. if we need a purple square, right? And developers are providing us with orange rectangles, and you say, well, you asked for rectangles, right? <laughs> yeah. You know, so. We need to get more precise in our language as, yeah. as urbanists and, and, and exactly be more detailed and in, in ex- precisely the type of development that, that needs to happen. And again, to me, I I always fall back on like sort of the financial thing of it, right? So we're going to look at like, is this financially productive? And the reality is, is like when we copy other places that are financially productive, yeah, they're, they will be dense, but they'll also be a lot of other things right um because the reality is we can also have not dense places that still are productive right we can have like a farmhouse out in rural you know in rural country and it can still be financially productive the, the reality is it's going to have a gravel road you're going to have your own well water you're going to have a septic field you're going to have a volunteer fire department right it's still financially productive it still pays its own way it's not dense right um, versus like also you can have de- these dense places that are like a tower surrounded by parking and overpasses and all that still not financially financial productive and again it's still not what urbanists are looking for 
is it dense? Yep, it is. So you know, we gotta stop asking for the stuff that we. Uh, yeah. You know, it's not pre- It's not precise enough, right? It's, it's yeah. Very. It's, uh, it's too reductive to say density. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Um, uh, you know that the way that I would frame it is density is a necessary but not a sufficient uh, ingredient t- for yeah. high yeah. high productivity high amenity urban uh yeah. urban forms and communities 100%. it's like it's like an, it's like an ingredient in in a, in a pizza right like it's it's fine yeah of course you need cheese but you also need a crust you also need sauce you also need you know toppings right so it's not enough to just say we need pepperoni you know or, or whatever it is like really, I, I agree yeah it's, it's a it's necessary but not sufficient